Kayla. Uh, just your thoughts behind maybe not, not playing very much in that first half. Well, it, when you look at a game plan and you look at some things you like as the way that first half went, you know, there were some plays that we liked, obviously, a lot of them with Derek. You know, there were some things we wanted to get to with Dion um, that were that were positive plays, you know, that were good plays. Unfortunately, you know, the fumble and the turnovers uh, and the kind of the way that that first half unfolded um, and then going with the two-minute drill. Uh, but but as you can see, that you know, we obviously knew that it was going to be an emphasis in the second half. Um, you know, it, it just kind of the way the first half unfolded um, with, with the lack of, you know, really touches. Somewhere in the first half, don't you say, we haven't gotten the ball? Well, I think that when you go through these things, that you know, there's a lot of plays that we like, and you know, we, we're going to do a better job coaching. We're going to do a better job playing. Um, you know, we left too many opportunities out there. And we we got to make some plays, um, but to continue to coach and execute um, our ability to play without fouling better. So there's a lot of things that we can improve on. They they got more. They needed twelve, and they got more than twelve yards. All all plays and all third down conversions are are critical in the game. Um, so again, we'll evaluate the film. We'll see what it looked like. But when third down, it's about coming out and rushing and, and covering. Um, and well, they gained more than twelve yards to, to get a big first down there. Yeah, you can go ask him. The locker room is open. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We wouldn't have made the guy active for the game if he wasn't confident in doing his job, but I wasn't confident in, in Auk and John and everybody in the organization. So you know, we'll go back to work and practice and, and try to help everybody um, do their jobs better. What was the, the plan overall? You're talking about opportunities for, for Dion. What was the offensive plan? You know? Well, the same as it is every week. We'll try to get the run game going. We're going to try to use it, play action pass. Unfortunately, we turned the ball over, um, which was the play action pass that was called. Led to a huge turnover. Um, and then when you get to the end of the first half, um, you're in two-minute drill. And so you know, that, that's where we're at with you know, Derek's usage. And felt it was you know, really important that we came out with, with an urgency. We need to have that every single day, every time we come to work. That same type of urgency, I think, that was there in the second half. That's what we have to try to do. Um, you know, whether we're running football, whether we're practicing, whether we're throwing the football, you know, whether we're going to meetings, that, that, that urgency needs to be there um, in everything that we do. This was, this, was, this was a disciplined team last year. We had three offensive line penalties on one series, moving, moving backwards. How is that possible? Um, you know, when you when you commit pal, uh, penalties and fouls, you know, they, they call them. And so, you know, whether it's at the line of scrimmage or or we grab a face mask or we get out of position, you know, we'll do a better job of trying to to show them um, kind of what they're calling, trying to help them play with better technique to to eliminate uh, penalties that that hurt us. You say you'll do a better job. Oh, I, uh, I think we, we spend plenty of time on penalties, and you know, I think, this, unfortunately, um, you know, we're going to try to get them not to, to, to grab guys' face masks and understand that that's going to get called. Um, you know, there, there are certain things that, you know, as, as a player, you have to go out there and do your job and understand that, you know, whether it be roughing the passer, and I'm trying to go as hard as I can, uh, that when that guy slides, it's on you, whether it's on a defensive back, and I'm trying to disrupt the ball on a defenseless receiver, that if he lowers his target, it's up to you to, to not hit him in the head or neck um, with your forearm, with your helmet. Um, th those are things that we, we coach and preach and show um, all the time. And then we have to do a better job of when we go out there, um, you know, not, not, not having those penalties uh, cost us in critical times. Well, we did score a lot more, which would have been more than the zero that we scored. So um, I think we came out with an urgency. We were able to get going. Um, you know, 
the offense was able to move the football, we converted on third downs. We ran the football, the guys were finishing. But, um, you know, in the end, I think when you just spotting teams too many points, you miss kicks, you turn the football over, you drop interceptions, um, half penalties in all three phases. You just, it's going to be hard to win in this league. What did you say on the fake, uh, fake punt play and how big was that play? Sure. Those are all, you know, again, those are, those are critical. And um, I would just say, you know, good execution. Uh, when, I, when I looked, it didn't feel like that we didn't have enough guys over there. I think they, we, we got a hat on them, and it looked like they pushed the pile. And I give them credit for making a play, and, and we didn't. Um, you know, I think it's just understanding how teams are going to play us and, and, and doing a better job of of coming out and, you know, really really studying how teams are going to play us, maybe not so much what they've done on film. Um, but, you know, some of the looks that we've gotten and, and some of the pressures or some of the fronts and, you know, just making sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're good to go. I mean, I felt like we, we were doing some good things and then um, you know, turn the football over. Too many times there in the first half to to really give a good evaluation uh, to where we're at and what we need to do. We need to not turn it over and not fumble it and not throw an interception. That would be a good place to start. Now we'll get we'll get all that injury stuff to you on Monday. Again, we'll go back and we'll watch the film. I, the message is clear to every receiver. It, it, it's not their job to worry about if they get the football. Their job is to, to worry about that they're open every single time. And uh, that's what we can evaluate, and that's what we will evaluate. Um, you know, I, I, I can promise you that there's plays in there um, for Corey. Um, you know, and we, we trust the quarterback to make decisions. Uh, you know, and then he stuck with it. and and was able to do some things to help us there uh, in the second half. Are these guys responding to you the way you expect them to? The way you need well, to you know, Paul, with, with, with responding, um, well, you're saying you know, they're, they're I, 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 got, I, got, I got the question, Paul. I'm going to try to tell you. I was saying, you know, we, we, we are just too inconsistent. You know, we would go one game where we have, you know, four or five penalties. Um, again, I, I just need to, um, to continue to coach a football team. That's willing to play with great effort and finish. That's willing to learn the details of every play and every personnel group. That understand the penalties and, and how to play uh, fast and aggressive without fouling. And a team that takes care of the football. Um, so I'll, I'll try to find a different way to, to share the same message um, every week. It shouldn't be a surprise that the, the, they had averaged five and a half penalties per game and we had averaged six and a half. So. And they did a better job than we did. You're running out of time to get those messages through? I mean, I, I'm going to get back to work as soon as I leave here and then watch the tape, and I'm not sure what time you're looking at. It was a time to make a run in the stand. Sure. I mean, you all, every game is critical. Every game is critical. That's why we're going to get back to work and, and understand that we, we put ourselves in position to play meaningful games in November. Unfortunately, today uh, we didn't take the step that we needed to. But there's a lot of good things that showed up there in the second half that we're going to have to try to build on. It would be that uh, you know, we, we didn't execute the play. You know, so pick whoever you want to blame. I'm not going to blame anybody. I'm going to say that we need to get better. I mean, that's that's how it goes, man. We we threw a pass. We were down in the game. We, the guy was trying to make a play. Uh, and unfortunately, they made a better one. That's how that's how it went. So.